last Sunday proved to be a first. They gave everyone who showed up at church money, $30,000. Yes, you heard that right. Pastor John Metter passed out $30,000 of real greenbacks to his congregation to teach the principle of generosity. He took as his sermon text the Proverbs, Proverbs 11, 24, and 25, and also the New Testament parable of the Ten Talents. He went on to elaborate that if you sow generously, you'll prosper, you'll reap generously. If you invest in other people first by faith, and then you reap the rewards later, more always comes back to you. Then 20 minutes into the sermon, he asked the ushers with buckets of money, 30,000 in small denominations, fives, tens, and twenties, to pass out sealed envelopes to every person in the auditorium. His charge to the almost 3,000 member group gathered there was to open their envelopes of money. And then he said, go apply this principle of generosity. Use it and see if God won't do what he says. We'll ask several of you to email or call us in a few weeks to see what happens after you've used this money to bless people's lives. Use it any way you choose. Talk about buzz. A friend of mine stopped by our house later that day and he recounted this story. He says, my envelope had $5, my wife got 20, and my 11 year old got 10. She's really excited. She's already planning a lemonade stand for the weekend. She hopes to double her money and then give it away. In all my years of going to church and serving on various committees, giving and different causes and cause campaigns, that was a first. Typically, once or twice a year, pastors around the world talk about tithing and giving 10% of your income and giving to those less fortunate, especially during the holiday season. But few have found a way to make their point so dramatic and so visual. Generals before Congress, presidents before foreign leaders, pastors before their parishioners, they all have used props to make a point. But the impact of props may last for years. Consider them for your next presentation.